Okay, going back to the home page, um, the last three activities I'd like you to do, I would like you to click on the Earning Badges um, link, and you can read all about badges. And so badges are a way for us to encourage you to do well in the class. And so what I like about the badges is that you will automatically be awarded badges if you meet the requirements for the badge. Um, if you if you want to, you can strive to earn all of the badges, and if I scroll down, you'll see there's tons of badges. There's basically two categories of badges in the class. There are module completion badges. And so for module one, you will earn a proficient completion badge, which is the highest, highest badge you can earn in a module. Um, if you successfully complete the initial response, the profile picture, and the syllabus quiz, and you earn a 90% or higher on all of the activities, which you should be earning 100 on all of those because they're pass or fail. When we get to Module 2, you'll see that there are three module badges. And so there's Proficient, Apprentice, and Novice, with Proficient saying you are awesome and you did a great job and you were exceeding expectations. Apprentice means you're chugging along and you're doing the work and you're doing a good job. And Novice means you completed it, but you need some more work in different areas. And the way that we track that is we would like you to complete the wrapping up or finishing up activities for a module. And if you score a 90% or higher on all the finishing up activities, you'll be proficient. If it's 80% or higher, it's apprentice. And if it's 70% or higher, it's novice. And so for module two, the only two things you have to complete to earn those badges are project one and the module two exam. And if you earn those scores, you'll automatically be awarded the badge. I would like to point out that if you earn the proficient badge, you will automatically earn the Apprentice and the Novice badge, so don't be freaked out if you see that you have all three. Um, if you earn Apprentice, you'll automatically receive Novice. In addition to the overall module, so there's six modules, um, the overall module badge, you can earn one badge for each section within a module, which are linked to chapters in the textbook. And so you can earn these, which I call completion badges, if you score 70% or higher on the required activities for a particular chapter. And so chapter one, color management, if you were to complete the lecture and mark it as being done on that page and score 70% or higher on the chapter one knowledge test, you would get a check mark. You completed the first chapter and you get the launching Photoshop um, badge. And so like chapter four is camera raw. And so for chapter four, if you complete the lecture and you mark it as being complete, and you score 70% or higher on the knowledge test, you will get a check mark and it will say you have successfully completed um, the camera raw chapter in the book. Now these have no, uh, no weight on your grade at all, but there is a correlation to your grade and badges. The better you do in your grades, the more badges you will earn. And so it should be your goal to earn all of the badges in the class. And you'll be able to see which badges you've earned by clicking on the badges tab. So you'll see all of them and the ones that are colored in are the ones that you've actually earned. So I've earned none right now, but that's okay. I haven't done any work yet.